Trying to get you warmed up, and then I'm going to introduce the comics. Whoa, look at this over here. Is the girls' night out? There's like eight of you. So we've kind of been fucking up the earth a little bit. You know, kind of fucking up the earth. And I'm thinking, if God was a landlord, would we get our deposit back? <laughs> He's coming in like, what the fuck did you guys do? <laughs> Give it up for Alfonso Ochoa. Yeah. The worst part about getting fatter is when you start growing out of your clothes when you're going up. That sucks. You know, because even if you got someplace nice to go, you don't give a shit about matching. You just go up to your closet and you're like, all right, what fits? Oh, shit. Then you feel stupid because you're sitting there in church wearing like purple sweats and a Ghostbusters 2 t-shirt. <laughs> Next week you're even fatter, you're just wearing a blanket. <laughs> Shit, now I gotta go clothes shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> uh, give it up for Brady Kelman. You got your fucking swinging from the ceiling, you're grunting like a fucking animal. And this Asian's just looking at you like you're fucking like jungle gym. I don't even fucking know Tarzan. And after you come, right, like I, after I came, this is what happened. I come, in fact, all over the place. All over the carpet, right? She fucking gets down on her hands and knees and starts scrubbing the floor. Where the fuck else can you go and get jacked off on my lunch break? And then have her clean it up off the floor for fucking eighty dollars, eighty seven dollars. You fucking serious? Unbelievable. So, dude, I just got fucking jacked off by an Asian on my lunch break. I got baby oil on my inner thighs. Would you fucking leave me alone? I'm sorry. Seriously, just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Moral of the story is: don't go to an Asian massage bar on your lunch break. Go after work. <laughs> and not only do we have Weezy, but later we'll have the Swish. And her parents are here tonight. Thank you. Which means our job is to validate her career choice. So give her a good round of applause. My mother is weeping silently in the corner, um, asking why did I send my child to college? I could have locked her in a basement and had the same results. I'm having a little bit of spiritual crisis. Uh, do you guys believe in Oprah? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I want to. Right now, I'm kind of an agnostic. I can't really convert to Oprahism. Here's the reason why. I'll tell you guys the truth about it. I am Jewish. And so although I believe that Oprah is a woman of wisdom who travels the earth preaching a message of love, I just don't accept her as the son of God. Because I think that's rosy. Good joke. Dance to it. It's catchy. I think it's Rosie because she looks like a man. I love the Rosie Trump panel. It's delicious. It's delicious. Keep saying nasty things to each other. I hate both of you. I love that war. War is great when you hate both sides. I'm like, Crystal, sweetie, talk about your pain and we'll write a joke about it and we'll make you feel better. You don't even know so don't even say. Sweetie, wakey. Uh, tell me, and then we can write a joke about it. You don't even know, so don't even say, you don't even know. You don't know, so don't... Okay, Crystal, I don't know because you haven't told me, honey. You need to tell me. Okay, I'll tell you, but you're going to be sorry. I cut myself with razor blades. Are you happy? Yikes. Um, well, uh, here's a joke. You can say, hey, one day I accidentally shaved myself cutting. <laughs> Give it up for Laura Swisher. Me neither. Yeah, not not much. Yeah, me neither. Just hanging out. I'm driving around Santa Barbara. Drove up and down Anna Pamu, just because I like the name. <laughs> driving around because I got some. Uh, I just got some bad news today. Um, I just found out that my my grandmother was admitted to the hospital, um, and it sucks because she's uh, she's one of these people. She doesn't take care of herself at all. And uh, like for the past three years, everyone in the family has been pleading with her, Grandma, please use a condom. <laughs> and of course she didn't listen, so now she's pregnant. <laughs> and, uh, 
Here's the thing, I'm not going to raise another ant. <laughs> Here's some advice for you guys. Um, if your mom ever, ever says, um, hey, Greg and I are gonna get stoned, do you wanna join us? <laughs> Uh, probably a good answer would be no. By the way, the, the electricity went out, so there's like nothing to do, just candles and, uh, and my stoned mother in the living room going. Do you want to join me doing warrior pose? <laughs> <sighs> Sweetheart, was I a good mother? <laughs> uh, Matt is a my ex-boyfriend, we broke up like six months ago. <laughs> we broke up for, it was kind of ridiculous. Um, he was always like really, uh, really tense. Uh, and any, any little thing set him off. Well, he was constipated, so he was like, <laughs> freak out over any little thing. And so one day I, um, I'd, I forgot to flush the toilet. And he accused me of bragging. <laughs> <laughs> good, so I have to make sure I look good because I'm on the market again, right? So how am I doing? Look at this. Oh, yes. Yes, silence. That's what I expect. Right here, behold the forearms of a typist. Right here. Yes. Oh, yeah, watch. I will flex the individual typist muscles for you. Check it out. Look. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Oh, shake it out. No, but then they put this lady in the front of the room to like teach me how to dance. I obviously do not need lessons. I gotta take it care of, right? Yeah, totally. And she totally ruins my vibe. She's like, one more, last time. One more, last time. And to the left, two, three, and to the right, two, three, and march it out. And bring it in. She sucks. Hey, dude, she does not know how to rock it like Smooth E, okay? So I put my beat over her beat, and I put a little remix thing going on, right? It's like, No, people were busting out blue and white glow sticks like a Jewish rave, like. Oy. Though they started mixing ecstasy with the 40s of Manischewitz wine, it was crazy. They're like, oh my god, oh my god, this yarmulke feels freaking awesome. Oh, Rabbi, oh, touch me, Rabbi.